Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this let's play of Neverwinter Nights 2 Mysteries of Westgate. Last episode, we made our way through the rest of the arena district, taking a look around a few other places, and oh, that's actually a very nice shield now that I see it. Uh, but anyway, we made it at last to the Temple of Lathander, I believe it is? Morningstar Haven, regardless. And we found a new companion, Charissa Mernos, a priestess, yeah. or cleric, of Tyr, who is more heavily on the uh, justice side of things than the good side of things, if you get what I mean. That said... Let's move forward and actually talk to Obed Teltus here and see if he can help us with learning about this mask and all. Hail and welcome to the Morning Star Haven. I am none other than Obed Teltas, High Priest of Lathander. Westgate needs the guiding light of the Morning Lord more than ever. It is fortunate that I assumed command of the temple when I did. Uh, you've only recently taken charge of this temple? Technically speaking, I suppose I'm not the real High Priest. Tylana left me in charge while she's away. Still, one must consider it more than coincidence, eh? Obed Teltas, rising to the fore as the city falls apart around him. It wouldn't surprise me if Lathander himself foresaw the need for a valiant leader and sent Tylana away. Tell me about Lathander. Lathander is the most blessed god of the dawn, and I, Obed Teltas, govern this temple in his name. Together, Lathander and I shall smite the evil festering in the bowels of Westgate. Then the people shall chant my name, uh, and that of Lathander. You're a little full of yourself, aren't you? Uh, let me see what temple services are available. Potion. We can sell a few things. Uh, healing hands. Any church has clergy as destined for a wide variety of roles. Administrators, theologians, warriors, and sermonizers, among others. Oftentimes, followers of a god are given minor tokens of the god's power intended to aid them in their duties. These leather gloves, intended for healers, have the Morning Lord's Rising Sun branded into them. Bonus to heal and use cure light wounds. Hmm. Couple of potions. Actually, I want to buy a couple of those healer's kits. In fact, I'm going to buy a, goal, a total of ten. So that we can try this on that one person. See if plus six healer's kits will be enough. I hope so. Golden Chalice of Lathander, Light and Mask Cure Serious Wounds. Okay, thank you. Now, back to what we were doing. I greet you. Uh, what do you know about the Night Masks? The Night Masks? A collection of thieves and miscreants that have wormed their way into the very heart of Westgate. A time shall come when Obed Teltas turns his gaze to that foul nest of vipers, and then Night Masks will know the truth of their folly. I need help ridding myself of a cursed mask. A cursed mask, you say? Let me see this item. Whatever malign influence afflicts it, I doubt whether its power can withstand a blessing from the High Priest of Lathander. Probably not. Do you know where we could find the High Priest of Lathander? Come to think of it, do you know where we could find any Priest of Lathander? Obed's eyes widen as he examines the mask, and he gives you a suspicious look before slowly shaking his head. This mask holds a terrible curse, that much is true. While it once belonged to a night mask, the power held within is of a much different variety. A spirit is tied to this mask, and her need for vengeance is terrible. She resists even my formidable attempts to sever the link. Perhaps there's a wizard in Westgate who could help? Very doubtful. I know of no wizard in Westgate that specializes in removing curses. Why, if Obit Teltas, in glorious favor of the mighty Lathander, is unable to remove the curse, what is the likelihood a mere mage could have success? Well, I mean, where, div where divinity fails, it's possible that Arcane could succeed. There are two forms of magic, after all, for a reason. 
Do you have any suggestions? I believe your only hope of removing this curse is to discover the true nature of the spirit. She would seem linked somehow to the night masks. I suggest you investigate this organization. Find out what you can. It may lead you to discover the secret of the mass. I do have a possible lead for you. A young priest named Jeswick Salem has recently gone missing. He had complained of being watched, and I suspect the night masks may be involved in his disappearance. Tell me what needs to be done. Jeswick has family in the Market Triangle. You should visit them and see if they know anything. I don't know where the family home is exactly, but I believe it is southwest of the Central Market. I'll get to work on it. You mean we'll get to work on it. I sure hope working for the Church of Lathander turns out to be as rewarding as the other option. I never thought I'd be working with the Church again. I suppose it's better than cavorting with thieves and criminals. Excellent! If the Night Masks were responsible for the disappearance of Jeswick Salem, make them pay! Let it be known that Obid Teltas and the Church of Lathander will no longer tolerate the activities of those curs. You might want to stock up before you leave. My prices are very reasonable. That's already been done. Thank you, and farewell. All right, we will be joining them. Oh, journal updated on them. Uh, you decided to align yourself with Obed Teltus of Morningstar Haven. This ends any chance of getting help from the Ebon Claws gang. In fact, once the Ebon Claws learn of this alliance, it is likely they will see you as an enemy. Yep, we only have one choice between the two. I would rather do, uh, go with the side of good. Alright, let's take a look through these side rooms. Belia. Oh, hold on, what's in these chests? Nothing. 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 Alright, who are you? Oh. Hello to you. Hello. My name is Belia. Is there something you need? I don't think so. Goodbye. Simple enough. How about this other door over here? What is through this side? It is unfortunate that one of our companions isn't too keen on where we're going, but anyhow, let's see how it goes. It doesn't appear to be anything on this side. Okay. Any side quests that we have left to do at the moment. Two, mainly. First, let's see if we can do something about dimples. She's nearby, we can handle her. Just gotta go out here, and into here. Alright, we have now plus six healing kits. I'm going to save first, and then I'm going to try using them on her and seeing if maybe we can get her healed. Alright, let's see what we got. Let me try to fix. Failure, 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 failure. Huh. Let me reload and try again. Okay, let me try another ten attempts. Fail, 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 fail. Oh wait! Hey, what did you do? That feels so much better! I can get back to dancing again! This is wonderful! Now if only I hadn't left my job at the Black Eye. Marv told me they want you back. For true? That's great! Tell Marv that I'll be back to work soon. I just need a few days to catch up on some watch business I wasn't able to attend to while I was hurt. In fact, it just occurred to me that I have a few rounds to make. I'm going to put this ankle to the test. Thanks again for your help, citizen. Alright! Took 20 tries, but hey, when 
you have a 20-sided die, eventually you're going to get a critical success. <laughs> All right. Next thing we need to go check. Hmm. If we went down there, I wonder if we'd be able to clear out those guys. That would be interesting. For now, though, we have to head all the way to the south. Hail, give me a moment of your time. The protester again. Psst, you there. How would you like to sign a petition in protest of great injustice? Wait, haven't I already spoken to you before? What? Have you? I don't know. I talk to so many people in the city, I forget half them. So are you in? No, thanks. You haven't even heard what it is yet. Okay, then, what has you so agitated? Architecture! Look at these sorry buildings. Makes you wonder what they're spending all our taxes on, doesn't it? What's wrong with the architecture specifically? Look around. Haven't you noticed that these buildings look like just about every other place in Faerun that's been built in the last, oh, say, eight months? Doesn't that seem funny to you? Um, no. The only way that makes sense is if it's a conspiracy. That's a capital C O N. Uh. Um. C O N. Spiracy! All the city leaders are everywhere are in on it. <sighs> Fine. Quite right. Where do I sign? Ah, man after my own heart. Just sign right here to join the dozens who feel the same way we do. Dozens. That's all. That's all for now. I am confident that within a sh only a short time, this issue will engulf the city. I tell you, I'm going to ride this issue all the way to the top. Remember my face, I tell you, because one day I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i be somebody. In fact, I'm going to run this place. I might even become the faceless. Wait a minute. You're saying I should remember your face, but that you'll become the faceless? She winks at you conspiratorially. Exactly. How many people have ever seen the faceless? You'll be special. All right, I'll sign. Excellent! You have just made a difference in the city, I tell you. You can be proud of yourself. Now, excuse me, but I need to get some sleep. Finding the system is absolutely wearing me out. Yeah, you have fun with that random protester. I am an, I am a little saddened that it doesn't seem like we're actually able to uh, fight in the arena there. Oh, we never uh, used that broken lamp post. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. After we take care of one or two things. First up, we gotta go to the Black Eyed Tavern here. Turn in this side quest. A simple enough task. Let's see. Ah, there you are. Marv! Hey there. So have you seen Dimples around? She's fine. She stopped coming into work because she twisted her ankle. No fooling? How'd she do that? Why did she tell me? And most important, when is she coming back? She'll be coming back soon. That's all you need to know. Indeed it is. I'll just have to ask her all about it when she comes back to work. Then, of course, she'll tell me to mind my own business. But who cares? She's coming back and that's what matters. Thanks for looking in, into this for me. Here, take these potions as a reward. I keep them around just in case I ever get into a serious brawl, but it ain't likely I'll ever need them. Thanks, Marv. Here you go. Hope you never have to use them. I see little Davey eyeing me over there. Best get back to work, which means standing here watching over things. Best of luck to you, friend. Eh, yeah, mission accomplished, and we got some... Well, a few potions for it. Including a potion of aid. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. Alright. Yes, take the party. Thank you. Ah, excuse me. Alright, now moving on. Kinda wanna go stop in that uh in Okazo's location again, see if she has a had a problem. If she did, I'm gonna wanna help. She got bullied again. 
Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, boy. Uh, wait for the music to die down, please. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for your help, Halloweth Nariken. The spiders threatened to destroy my shop. What happened? I should have known better than to allow strangers to bring an unexpected delivery into my shop. With all the new business I've been doing, I've lost track of shipments on occasion. I knew this delivery had come from Dahlia Erdo when I read the invoice. Be careful what you import, it said. Before I could do anything, the boxes burst open, releasing the spiders. They could have killed me, or worse, destroyed my shop. You should report this to the City Watch. The City Watch has never been my friend, Alueth Nariken. They mistrust me because I am not from here. Those who are not owned by the Nightmares suspect me of being one. Those who are hate me because I resist paying. I must show Dahlia Erdo that I will not be cowed into selling my shop. I will not stoop to violence, but perhaps a little prank will demonstrate my resolve. What do you have in mind? Once in a while, the fragrances I import become tainted in transport. In such cases, I naturally throw the offending perfume away. However, there was one bottle recently that smelled so repugnant that I found myself strangely amused by it. I decided that it could be the key ingredient in a practical joke. In my spare time, I rigged the bottle so that it would crack when opened, spilling the foul liquid all over. I see. And you want me to deliver this perfume to Dahlia? I would like you to deliver this perfume to Dahlia at the Erdo estate in the Market Triangle. I have heard her lover's name is Enrilo. Say it is a gift from him and I am sure she will immediately sample its quality. This could be fun. I wish I could see her reaction, but I must tend to my shop. If the delivery is made during business hours, she will not suspect me. Oh, I definitely like the idea, and in fact, I am going to go do this right away. <laughs> uh, sit back. I think we'll be fine with this little payback. I mean, it's not like we're sending in a bunch of giant spiders to try and kill her. We're just, uh, well, making her smell. Ah, it looks like the fire finally ended. We'll come back to check it later. Probably in the next episode. But first, how is Erdo here? Hey, it's you again. What do you need? I need to deliver something to Dahlia Erdo. It's from Enrilo. This wouldn't be some kind of trick, would it? I saw you arguing with Dahlia earlier. I wouldn't want to get in trouble for helping you pull one over on the little princess. You show a surprising amount of concern for someone you don't like. Yeah, you have a point there. Why should I care if it's a trick? After all, I'm just doing my job. Very well, I'll bring her the gift with Enrilo's regards. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. We just ran to hide. <laughs> and that was a pretty funny gag with the perfume. No pun intended. Fortunately, Dahlia's opinion of me is low enough that she never suspected I knew anything. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's go report in to, uh, to the one who hired us. I'm sure she'd like to know. Right here to Okazo's Imports.
Alright, Okuzo. Hello. Greetings, Alweth Narikin. It is pleasant to see you again. The prank worked perfectly. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it for myself. She won't soon get that stench out. Thank you for your help. If Dahlia has any sense at all, she will now understand that I will not give in to her. Indeed. I have a feeling the answer is that she's just going to get more pissed off, but we'll come back and check on you later. That said... With that done, I do kind of want to take a look down in the sewer here. We have a couple minutes, I want to see what happens if we try to go in. Alright, down we hop. It's incredibly dark down here. Alright, kill all these dire rats. There's one. And regular rats, I guess. Thank you. Alright, let's go investigate. Oh, first, kill that rat. Alright. Let's just see what happens when we use this door. Open the door. From all directions you hear the sounds of joyous giggling and chirping as a multitude of unseen creatures scramble about behind the walls. The commotion dies down as a voice addresses you from behind the far door. <laughs> you are trapped, spy, and in a few moments you will be dead. Dead like all the other nightmares whose bones you tread upon. If I were a spy, do you think I would so carelessly fall into your trap? Ha! <laughs> the floor is littered with the bones of idiotic spies. Apparently the nightmares have them to spare. If I were busy, I would order you killed now. But since I am bored and you are thoroughly snared, I will give you the chance to extend your life by a few precious moments. Sing us a song, tell us a story, do something that pleases us more than killing you on the spot. What story do you want me to tell? You claim you are not a nightmare spy. What are you then? Please tell us. <laughs> Perhaps your story will make us forget the triggers pressed against our fingers. Tell them about the domino mask. As you tell the story of how you found the mask, the frequent giggles of your hidden audience gradually give way to agitated whispers. The voice from behind the door suddenly seems to be speaking to someone else. One of our informants has told us that you were connected with the Church of Lathander! Die! Is that all? Oh, no, you still have him. I'm leading. If you don't mind, please unlock it. For this. Nope, we need a specific key. Wait. Does that mean we can't actually get out of here? What about this door? Can we unlock it? Yes. We can unlock this door and get out of here. So is that all it is? If you need something looted, I'm your woman. Yes. What is it? Okay, so I guess that's all that happens there. Never gonna get in, we're never gonna encounter them, and we're not going to do anything with them. Good to know. Let's get out of here then, and we'll rest when we get outside, which is fine. So we're connected with the Church of Lathander. So what? We're trying to do good in here. Go with it. No resting allowed in this area, really? Huh. What if we head over to the inn over here? Will we be able to rest in the inn? Let's try this. Yep, there we go. Okay. So we're not able to rest anywhere. Alright, accept party and let's go. Now, I think I'm probably going to end this episode about here.
because it's gone on about long enough. I mean, we have like two or three minutes. That's not really enough time to do anything notable. So I think next episode we'll go investigate that building that kind of burned. Seems like the fire went down, and it'll be curious to see what's going on with that. There's a city watchman just outside, so that should help. But that'll be in the next episode. So, until then... I'm Chester44. That is... Alawith Narakan, Mantids, Renara, and Chorizo Mamos. This has been a Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2, Mysteries of Westgate. I shall see you all next time.